Hello everyone. Today we are going to do question number fourth of your textbook. Here is the question. Following balances are taken from the books of Sima Limited on thirty first March two thousand seventeen. Prepare statement indicating assets of balance sheet as at thirty first March two thousand seventeen as per Schedule Third of Company Act two thousand thirteen. So, so here we have to prepare balance sheet of Sima Limited. As on thirty first March two thousand seventeen. First of all, we will write headings. Now, as I explained you in the format, here we have to prepare column like this. First column will be for particulars, where we will write all the contents. Then note number. Then amount column will be there. Now, here our first balance is first item is current investments, which will be shown. Under the head assets and uh, here main heading under current asset, here it is current investments, amount is rupees twelve thousand. Then next is uh, short term loans and advances. So here short term loans and advances will be shown under the heading current assets. Here it is. Short term loans and advances amount is rupees sixteen thousand. Then next is other current assets that will again uh, be shown under the head current assets. Here it is other current assets amount is seventy two hundred. Then fixed assets and that one is also uh, tangible. So it will come under the main head non current assets and under subheading fixed asset. Uh, that is tangible amount is five lakh sixty thousand. Then cash and cash equivalents amount of cash and cash equivalent is given. That is fourteen thousand. So here it is current asset. So we will show it under the head current asset. Here it is cash and cash equivalent amount is fourteen thousand. Then we have inventory forty six thousand. So inventory we will show under the head current. Asset amount is forty six thousand. Uh, here inventories means stock held for the purpose of trade in the normal course of business, that is for manufacturing or trading of goods. Inventories are classified or shown as current assets because of the reason that they are held with the purpose to convert them into cash and cash equivalents within a short period. It includes uh, raw materials, work in progress, finished goods, then stock in trade, stores and spares, etc. Loose tools, etc. Now next is trade receivables. Now here trade receivables that is fifteen thousand eight hundred will be shown under the head current assets. Trade receivables means amounts receivable for sale of goods or services rendered by the company in the ordinary course of business. They are classified or shown as current assets if they are receivable within a period of twelve months from the date of balance sheet or within the operating cycle of the business. Trade receivables includes both debtors and bills receivable. Now next is other. Non-current assets, that is, uh, eighteen thousand. So it will be shown under the head, uh, non-current assets. Here it is, other non-current current assets. Amount is eighteen thousand. Now next is, a uh, fixed assets intangible. Here it will be shown under the head, non-current assets. Here it is, intangible. Uh, amount is one lakh twenty thousand. Now next is. Long term loans and advances. Now, as it is long term loans and advances, that means uh, these loans and advances are uh, those loans and advances that are expected to be received back in cash or kind. Uh, that is in the form of an asset after twelve months from the date of balance sheet. So here we will show it under the head non current assets. Here it is. Amount is rupees twenty two thousand. Now we will uh, do the total 
of all the non current assets that is 5 lakh 60 thousand 1 lakh 20 thousand 26 thousand 22 thousand and 18 thousand now we will write it in outer column total that is 7 lakh 46 thousand now if you total all the current assets uh, you'll get 1 lakh 11 thousand so here our total assets is 8 lakh 57 thousand so it is very simple you just have to uh, remember format of this and you have to show it according to the format now let us see question number sixth question number fifth you have to do in your homework so here is question question number six following balance are taken from the books of uh, moon limited uh, we have to prepare balance sheet as on 31st March 2017 as per Schedule 3rd of Company Act 2013. So, let us see. So, here first we will write a heading that is balance sheet of Moon Limited as on 31st March 2017. So, here in this way we have to prepare the format uh, uh, of balance sheet under as per schedule third of company act 2013 so here uh, first column will be of particulars then note number then two columns of amount so here first uh, uh, item is given that is interest accrued amount is 30,000 so it will be shown under the balance sheet head asset and under main head uh, that is current asset here it is interest accrued amount is 30,000 now next is uh, plant and machinery so we know that it is a fixed asset so here it will be shown under the main head non current asset amount is uh, 15 lakh here it is now next is equity share capital amount is again 15 lakh so here equity share capital will be shown under the balance sheet head equity and liabilities under the main head shareholders fund here it is equity share capital amount is 15 lakh now next is bank balance and cash amount is 67500 so it will be shown under uh, balance sheet head asset under the main head current asset that is bank balance and cash 67,500 now next is uh, general reserve amount is 30,000 so here general reserve will be shown under the balance sheet head equity and liability under the main head shareholders fund here it is general reserve amount is 30,000 now next is closing stock we know that closing stock is uh, current asset here we will show it like this current asset amount is uh, sorry closing stock amount is 270,000 now next is creditors creditors are current liability here we will show it uh, under balance sheet head equity and liability under the main head current liabilities amount is 6 lakh creditors now debtors debtors is current asset here we will show it under the main head current asset that is uh, 3 lakh 45 thousand now provision for tax the word provision the term provision is used where the liability is known but the amount is not ascertained that is is not determined with substantial accuracy so here provision will be so shown under the balance sheet head equity and liabilities and under the main head current liabilities here it is provision for tax amount is 90,000 now next is 12% uh, bank loan here 12% bank loan will be shown under the main head non current liabilities here it is amount is 195000 now we are given non current investments here non current investment will be shown 
under the uh, balance sheet head assets under the main head uh, non current asset so here non current investment here it is 45000 uh, we will show it here non current asset amount is 45000 now next is uh, electricity deposit see non current investments are investments which are held not with the purpose to resell but to retain them non current investments are further classified into trade investments and other investments trade investments are investments made by a company in shares or debentures of another company not being a subsidiary to promote its own trade and business and other investments are those investments which are not trade investments so now next we were talking about electricity deposit electricity deposit will be shown under the balance sheet head assets under the main head non current asset here it is 187000 now next is a provident fund so so provident fund we know that provident fund is a liability we will show it under the head equity and liability under the main head non current liabilities here it is provident fund amount is 30000 now uh, you have to add up a shareholders fund under that you have equity share capital that is 15 lakh and general reserve that is 30000 uh, that comes to 15 lakh uh, 30000 then uh, you will add up a non current all non current liabilities so here you will get total 2 lakh 25000 then total of current liabilities is equal to 6 lakh 90000 that means here our total of equity and liabilities uh, total amount of equity and liabilities is 24 lakh 45000 now let us see uh, here our total assets here under the main uh, balance sheet head assets we have non current assets and total of non current asset is 17 lakh 32500 and total of current assets is uh, 7 lakh 12500 and the total of all the assets that comes to 24 lakh 45000 so here our total of equity and liability is equal to total asset so that's all for to, uh, for today i hope it is clear to you all thank you